we have scant data to determine and we have some drugs that are approved in very, very similar clinical niches. Uh, for example, uh, carbazitaxel as well as abiraterone and now MDV3100, which will probably be approved as uh, therapy post docetaxel, so if three drugs in the same space. Then, of course, the Bayer compound, the alpha radin, RAD223, that will be approved for patients ineligible for docetaxel as well as those patients who are, uh, have failed docetaxel. So just looking at that one thing alone, you have four different agents. And if you consider the fact that you can administer Provenge to patients who failed docetaxel or have had one, one docetaxel regimen, that's five different agents. How do we sequence them? We don't understand the biology as well as we should. We need good, uh, treat, good tests to tell us which drug or treatment is the best one to use in a given situation. Right now, it's a bit of guesswork. Uh, if a patient is rapidly progressive, one tends to go towards chemotherapy, although there's really no evidence to use that at this particular point. Uh, that's just basically what a lot of clinicians are used to. Uh, if you've had uh, uh, chemotherapy and you've tolerated it poorly, one would tend to go to some of the other hormonal agents such as abiraterone or uh, MDV3100. So there's really no scientific way of doing this at this point, and that's really what the disappointment is to a lot of us, but that basically tells us where we have to work in the next couple of years to figure this out.